Hi, welcome to this lab. In this lab, I'm going to show you how to view user level credentials and also app level credentials of Azure App Service using Azure Portal. Secondly, I'm going to show you how to use FTP deployment in order to change the web content within your Azure App Service. So first of all, let me show you user level credentials and app level credentials. For that purpose, I already created an app service. But in case if you don't have one, create one. And if you go to deployment credentials, this is where you can see user level credentials. i.e. the username and password that you can use across all apps in all subscriptions associated with your Microsoft Azure account. And the next thing is app level credentials. If you click on overview here, download the publish profile and open it. It's already open here. Okay. And if you can see here, username and password. Sorry, let me zoom in. It might be better for you. Here is the username and here is the password. Okay. This is the username and password that you can use in order to publish the web content into Azure App Service. But this password and username can be used for only this app only. But where exactly this username and password will be used? Generally, when you are trying to publish an application using Visual Studio, you will inherently use this username and password. So let me show you that. Just to show you, I'm going to create new application here because we are going to publish this. and right click on it here and then click on publish select existing click on publish and then here okay let's publish we haven't created any deployment slots but i'm going to explain that in the next labs let's click on okay now if you come down here you can see username and password this username and password visual studio got it downloaded basically by downloading that publish profile so if you click on settings here this is all the information that you got essentially from that publish profile in case let's say by accidentally you go on here and you reset it then let's try to publish it again why it's not getting published because whenever you reset publish profile the password will get changed in that case, you need to just delete this publish profile and then reselect it again. It will download the publish profile again and then you should be able to publish it. Okay. It is that simple. And the next thing I want to show you is how to use FTP deployment in order to publish the content into Azure App Service. Because we already published this web application into Azure App Service, what I'm going to show you is how to use FTP in order to modify the content. So let's close this solution and then go to open website and then here you need to provide an endpoint, endpoint of the FTP site for your app service. So if you go back here, go to deployment center, and then if you come down here, click on FTP, click on dashboard. Here, you should be able to see FTPS endpoint. Let's copy this and then paste it here. And the username I already have here is the same username. So I'm not going to change it. And password, let's copy this password and then paste it here. Sorry. See, you're getting a problem, right? Sometimes this password will not get copied correctly. So let's close this. Okay, I downloaded the publish profile already, but this is an old one. This is the old password, right? So that means I need to download the publish profile because we reset it.
see here let's copy this hopefully it should work let's see yeah it is working now you can see here ftps this is the content that we earlier published into app service now you can view the same here using ftps now what i'm going to do is i'm click on about.aspx and then i'm going to change this header i just changed to ftp deployment is working so let's save this we haven't done anything at all apart from apart from changing the web content remotely using ftp okay so let's go back to application and then launch this application now click on about see the content has been changed so without publishing anything at all using ftp you will be able to change the content and also you will be able to publish the content because we already published the web application using visual studio i just used ftp in order to change the content within that web application in azure app service remotely you can use other ftp tools also like filezilla and all those stuff but visual studio is the right tool in my view because everything is there for you so that's it for this lamp in this lab i have shown you how to view user level credentials and app level credentials of your app service and also i have shown you how to use ftp in order to modify the content that is already published in azure app service in the next lab i'm going to show you how to use onedrive and sync the content from the onedrive into your app service and also i'm going to show you how to use local git repository in order to publish the content into azure app so if you have some time join me in the next lab